Hey guys, Zach here, back with another exciting video. If you watched my previous one, you'll know this one is going to be of me showing off my new van, which is right behind me. I am really excited to share this video with all of you and also my process and journey of how I got this van. So before I get into it and show you all my hand controls, I wanted to kind of talk about some of the modifications that I had to have done to my chair as well as the car to make this happen. I've been in the process of getting this car for about two years and I got it through an organization called Department of Rehab. I think in other states it's called Department of Vocational Rehab, but here it's called Department of Rehab, DOR. And their goal is to help someone with a disability get an education and go to school to get a job. And so for me, I live in Orange County. There's a lot of public transportation and there's one called OC Access, which is made for people with disabilities. And so normally anyone in my situation would take that. However, for me, where I live, it's based off of bus stops and the one right next to me actually got taken out. So my house got zoned from the bus stop and access so they can no longer pick me up. And that is the reason why I got this paid for. So. I am very lucky and grateful that everything, this car, the hand controls, the modifications, even this wheelchair was all paid for by Department of Rehab. And they paid for it because when I graduate with my degree, I need to get to my job somehow. And so I need to be able to drive. That is why they got this. And if you hear the noise in the background, I apologize. It's uh, the lawn mowers are cutting the grass right up here. I wanna start with my chair before the car. Um, they bought me this wheelchair, like I said, and it's a power chair. I was really against it in the beginning because I didn't like the look of how I looked in a power chair. Before I was in a smaller one and it just, I felt more natural and comfortable in it. But as I've just been in this chair for the past almost two years, I've gotten used to it. So, and the reason they wanted me in a power chair is because it's a lot safer, it's sturdier. I have a headrest that I put in, but I'm just not wearing it right now. So they got me this chair because it's safer. They added this strap right here, which is what I wear when I'm gonna drive. It's like an extra chest strap just to keep me from falling forward because I am a quadriplegic and I don't have a strong core, so it's easier for me to kind of fall over. And I also have a black Velcro strap that will go around my ankles. I'm not wearing it right now, but and that's for, I get spasms in my feet sometimes, so sometimes my legs might kick out or they'll start spasming. So this black Velcro strap will keep my legs from kicking out. And then underneath, in my last video, I showed you I got an easy lock system installed into my old van, which is right over there, but I also got it installed into this one. So I have this piece that was attached to the bottom of my wheelchair under my foot plate, and that allows me to lock into this car and secure my chair. And so I also have a seat belt that's in the car that's always, um, that's always connected, so I just roll into it. Yeah, that's the chair. And again, this has been a process that's it's taken almost two years to get this car. I I've been paralyzed for nine years. My accident happened when I was 15 years old and I honestly thought something like this would ever be a possibility for me because of my limited function and also how expensive this stuff is. There, I don't think I could have ever afforded something like this. So it's I'm honestly kind of still in shock that I literally have a car right here that is made for me specifically to drive out of. I'm still taking it all in. I don't have my license yet, I just have my permit. So right now I'm just practicing driving with an instructor, but I have the car, so I figured I wanted to make a video and just show you all. Now let's get the car opened up and check it out. So I have the keys right here and I can do everything 100%. They wanted to make sure I could unlock the car, drop the ramp, get locked in, turn the car on, turn it off, unlock, roll out, put the car back up and lock it. Like I have to do everything 100% independently before they actually let me take it home. So I'm gonna unlock the car right now. All right, so the car is unlocked and there's another button that I can push on the key ring to drop the ramp. Uh, but I also wanted to show you another option that they gave me. If for some reason I couldn't push the button or open it, they, um, they installed this secret way to do it um, with a magnet. And that's back over here. So I have this magnet right here, and there's a special spot back here where if I touch the magnet to that spot, it's actually gonna open up the car and drop my ramp. There it is. 
I think that's really cool. So that's something that they showed me when I got the van. I didn't know it would come like this. It's awesome. So now I'm gonna roll into the car. All right. All right, so here she is. Um, I forgot, I forgot to tell you what kind of car it is. It's a 2019 Dodge minivan. Uh, brand new, it's beautiful. I, I can still smell the new car smell and I haven't come up with a name for her. So if you guys can think of any awesome names, comment below. But before I lock in, I just wanna show you my driving system right here. On the ground, if you look, it has the easy lock system. It has that easy lock system in the ground where I roll into. Then right here is my hand control. Um, so this is called a Scott's system which I don't really know exactly what that means, but that's the name of the hand controls that I got. And I basically do, will do everything from this device. I'll, I put my hand in it and I'll do this. I just wanna explain everything before I roll in. So when my arm's in it, I push forward for gas. I pull back for brake. I rotate my wrist left in towards my thigh to turn left and then I rotate out to turn right. So I do all my driving from one hand. And then on the other side of the car, if you see this, this is like my control panel box. It's insane. It reminds me of like an airplane, but these are all buttons I push for shifting gears, rolling down my window, um, turning my car on and off, the radio, air conditioning, signaling, um, putting my parking brake on and off and putting my ramp in and out. So now I'm gonna roll in and just get situated and show you how it would look. So one thing I have to do is this armrest, I always have to fold back because it gets in the way of this. Let me turn my speed down. And it's a tight squeeze, so I have to get in at the right spot to click in. So it takes me a few times, that's why. Oh, got right in, sweet. Okay, so if I were in like this by myself, my hand goes in here, and then I have this top thing I hit, hit over, and this keeps my wrist in. So my arm's locked and secure. I'm gonna turn my car on. If you wanna come over here, I'll show you. So there's an ignition and a start button. So I push the ignition and that kind of gets the car going and I push start and that actually turns the car on. So let's do that. Boom, car's on. Let me get the air going because it's actually really hot. So I guess I'll start with that. Right here, I have my AC, cold and hot, and then I have the how strong I want the air. Right here is my turn signals. Up means I'm turning right, and then down is for my left. And then I have my easy lock release button, which is when I'm done parking, I turn the car off and I wanna get out, I push this button and it'll unlock me. And so over here, like I said, we have all the buttons I need to drive. So I'm actually gonna put the ramp up right now just to show you. So there's a button that says ramp in, ramp out. So it's out right now. I just push that button. So as you can see, the ramp is coming in just by pushing the button. Um, if I want to roll my windows down, push this button, then roll it up. I have a button for my radio. Which I push that button, it turns the radio on. And then if I'm done, I can turn it off. My favorite button is the horn. So I have a button for the horn to turn on my lights when the sun goes down. I do, I have everything on this box right here, it's really amazing. I'll show you how the hand controls work. So again, when I when I turn my wrist in, you can see my steering wheel start to turn. And then if I turn right, it turns right. This system is set up specifically for me. So it, it's not like anyone else could come in here and drive this. The sensitivity set for my hand controls is super light because I'm not very strong. Um, I had to have them set really easy. So. I actually kind of, I'm going to take this around the block really quick and show you guys how I drive. So I'm going to put my ramp out so my recorder can get out and come around. 
All right, so we're all situated. I got my seatbelt on, I got my strap. Cars on, the ramps in. So I'm gonna shift into drive. And if you come over here, you can see it says shift left and shift right. So that's how I shift my gear. So I'm in park, I wanna go to drive. Okay, so now it's in D and then I'm gonna push this forward and we're gonna take a little stroll around the neighborhood. Yeah, this is, it feels surreal doing this right now, but I'm very lucky and blessed to live in an area that has really great resources and programs that can help people in need like this. Cause like I said, there's no way I'd be able to afford this on my own. Uh, how expensive this car was is insane, but so is everything in the spinal print injury world. Um, okay, so I'm gonna turn left, push down. My left blinker's on, look both ways. So we had to pull over for one thing, but I'm gonna get back on the road. So as I was saying, I wanted to make this video just to show my car and my hand controls and how this works for me, but also to show and inspire others that may believe something like this isn't possible for them. It is. If you guys have any questions that I don't cover in this video, please comment below, I will answer them. Again, this is a, called a Scott's driving system. And the van I have is a two, 2019 Dodge minivan. And yeah, this is, I don't know, kinda at a loss for words still right now. This is truly amazing that I'm driving the streets of the neighborhood I grew up in. It feels really weird. And like I said, I have my permit right now, but that means legally I can drive with someone as long as they have a license. Before my accident happened, I was act I was a total gamer. I loved video games. So that's something I've just always have a natural act for. And when I first got my power chair, just the joystick, it's almost kind of like a video game, but then having this, it's like a giant joystick that I just drive a car from. So it's still taking some getting used to, but I'm glad that I had that kind of background of enjoying playing video games before my accident, because I think this is a lot harder for me to do. Right, and then we're coming back up on my street. So I'm gonna park my car and then turn it off and show you how I get out and lock it back up. I can't wait to have my license and actually be able to take Brie out on a date and drive her. That is something she and I are both really looking forward to because I've been paralyzed for nine years and for those nine years, I've always had to have someone drive for me and always have someone pick me up, drop me off, and it's, this has given me so much independence, so I'm really excited. All right, so, now we're gonna parallel park, which is something I'm still practicing, so, let's see how this goes. All right, so then I'm gonna shift left to reverse, and reverse, Don't hit my truck. <laughs> I know. Just kidding. Thank God I have a backup <laughs> camera. That really helps. All right. So we parked. I'm going to put the car in park. Then I hit the ramp out button. That's going to open the ramp. Just turn the air off. So now what I do is I just, to turn the car off, I just push the ignition and then the car turns off. And to get out, I just do this. Oh, and one thing I, I kind of did in my own modification is these tripods were not wrapped with this black gripping. I did that myself just to help keep my hands more in position. So um, sometimes it takes a second to get my hand out, 
but when I drive, my hand feels a lot more secure than it did when these were just like naked. It's just a plastic, so it's slippery. And I don't have grip. I can't grip with my hands. So when I'm done with this, I just push this button. There we go. So when I hear that noise, I'm unlocked. And I can back it up. There we go. Okay. Like I said, this is like a really tight squeeze, so I gotta get perfect. So what I love about this car is I have enough room back here. I can do a full 360. So I'm able to kind of turn and then I have all this space back here and then I can just gonna roll out. So if I wanted to put the ramp up, I could also, I can still use that magnet to, to put the ramp up. But right now I'm gonna push the key. I love everything about this van. My one thing that I am thinking about, just because I have had a car with a ramp before, and when you don't use your car and drop your ramp, it uses a lot of your car battery. So it's better to have the car on and drop the ramp and put it in and out. It doesn't use the battery, but for my car, I can't turn the car on unless I'm already in it. So I do have to drop the ramp before. So that's something I'm gonna have to be aware of is my car battery may be running out sooner than a, a normal one, but other than that, that is, I can't think of anything else that I have to critique about this, but. And then once I'm done, I lock it. Car is locked, and then my armrest that's folded back, I can reach around, push it forward. And yeah, that's it guys. So that's, that's my new car, my van, my independence. I'm still in shock that I have this, so. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, comment below any questions that you have for me, I will answer them. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys wanna help support me, I'll leave a link below to an account I have called Patreon. And basically that's just where you can go and donate if you feel led just to help support my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But if not, no problem. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. See you later.